Yo, what is up guys? It is Shotzi, and in today's video, we are going over the map Skid Row. Uh, rank play should be out by now. I hope you guys use these jump spots, line of sights. Stay tuned. So for top mid jump, instead of, so obviously there's two ways of doing it. You could uh, do like the regular top mid, right? And then there's also this one where you just jump on this fucking pot thing, and then look at the wall and just double jump. And then you'll always get the hop. You know, people think you have to get on this barricade, but that's like a fast mantle. You want to just do it a little bit quicker, you just do that. <laughs> and then, also what people do in SD, you run through here, do this jump, do this jump, then go on top of this. Then you could also go up here, wait for someone, peek. So for P3 hardpoint, this is a really good jump. You can go on top of this window, hold like a dirty offy. You're not able to jump on this, but... So a jump that looks like you're wall, wall running, you can get on this dumpster and go on these railings and then just shout. And if someone looks like a wall run, if you do it fast enough. Okay, so for playground, if you ever want to go top apartment right away, because someone ran away from you, you can do this jump. Very simple. You can also go here, jump on these windows, pretty simple. You can even go on this. Do that for a little bit faster. And yeah, just cool jump to go top apartment. Um, over here in Barber. Uh, the two main spots are obviously this one. And then you can also get on top of the fridge. You gotta jump in like this oven. Or wait, this is a stove. Jesus. And then crawl your way in there. And you have a dirty little offy. All right, so for the, if you ever got steps, you can actually look through this and see the cross. So if anyone goes the hallway to you, you could easily just, boop, free kill. Um, probably be used to, just in case you don't want to get naded or if you don't want them to have any information on you. This is also a really good off angle you could hold. So for top man and P1, if you're trying to finesse, you can jump outside the window, go into this ledge. Get an angle from top hop, stay down. You can also go on the other side. Or you can just jump down here. There's also this spot as well on the complete opposite side. You just go on the ledge. Got your hallway, you have your own like door. You can lay down here, lake beak this. So for P2, this is kind of cool. You can go outside of this roof, jump on this. I feel like no one really knows. Um, I'm not really sure when you would ever use it. Probably if you're ever getting chased and you're 1v1 in P2, but cool to juke someone out. Um, go over here. Holy fuck, that's toxic. So for P5, you can come over here, jump on this, on these bricks, and get a little angle for ticket. And then you could also jump in this if you wanted to. Or like a little, a little spot here. You could also climb on top of the ladder, imagine. But yeah, you could just get on these bricks, hold like a little, little off angle for anyone pushing through. So another way to jump top mid if you want to get a different angle for whatever reason they know you're you're jumping through like this left side of this uh, wall right here. You could actually go on top of this barricade and then go all the way over here. And then you have a nice head glitch. If you're ever going to chase from double doors, you could come over here. Go on top of this balcony right away. I No one will expect it. Here's an angle for god stairs if anyone's trying to push the hallway. Instead of just shouting in the open, letting them have a head glitch, you can get on this little light right here. And you have a, a better angle to see the guy got steps. So if you ever want to hold bottom in, press and D, or for whatever reason, instead of just holding it like this, you can actually jump on top of these, these wood, wood pallets, and just look through the cage. And just be aware that these bullets do less damage through this cage. 
a really good angle is just holding your your top ticket because usually when people try breaking they just love going on top of this to try to get an angle on hell so you have a free kill here and then ideally your teammates are obviously watching the cross so <laughs> He's not going through. Oh my god, that is insane. So for S and D, this is the best spot to hold bottom in. You just go on this pillar, crouch down, and if anyone walks through the garage door, you will never die. Ten out of ten times, I promise you. And if you do die, you are just fucking dog shit. And you could also wobbing it. So for top mid, you go bottom in really fast. People try to slide when they get to the stairs, which is not the way to do it. If you want to slide all the way down the stairs, you just have to slide right before. So it'll be like somewhere around here. It'll look something like this. If you're ever trying to pick P5, the best way to do it is to go on top of the ticket. And then... So to break P2, for those beginners, uh, obviously, there's the staircase. But for the most part, um, if you get a lot of kills, ideally you try to... Just jump on top like this to catch a mock guard. Or if you're coming from this way, you could also jump up here, jump in the box, get an angle, and kill the guy P2. So here's a really good spot. You just go on top of the dumpster, and you go a little bit more to the left, and then jump. And if you just spam your jump, you could sometimes see if they jump top mid. And if they actually run the hole, you could easily kill them. <laughs> So if you come up over here at the dumpster, you can crouch on these stairs and see underneath this dumpster to hold your bottom mid push through if you don't want to just pick it like this so that they don't have no, no information on you. So to watch tunnel, you could obviously hold it by this way, but if you want to watch it without them knowing you're watching it, you could crouch or you could lay down all in between these um, this wall and this thing right here and watch across. So for a bomb, you can jump on top of the bomb, and then get into this little crevice and crouch. Don't actually defeat. Yeah, so like hopping it. Ha ha ha! 